I'm so sorry. We were remiss. We needed to tell you that Sarah's out for a few days attending a funeral for a family friend. That's why she's not here. So I, it got Iowa. away from me, yeah. yeah. So here's something you want to talk about. A recent career community survey of over 500 hiring professionals found that a woman's professionalism is often judged on her physical appearance. Mm -hmm. And one woman is going viral for sharing her story. Take a look. Mm -hmm. I interviewed for a job earlier this week. The interview went so well. My background was exactly what they were looking for. She was concerned that for my interview, I hadn't put in enough effort in my appearance given the level of role I was interviewing for. I was interviewing for a vice president position, and now my appearance. I had done a blowout for my hair, I had on a nice top, a blazer, some earrings, but I only had on chapstick. I didn't have any makeup. Does not wearing makeup for women to job interviews or to jobs make it seem like they aren't putting as much effort or care into their job? I think that's hard to tell because no one would ever ask a man why ever his face correct. wasn't made up. <laughs> ever. <laughs> but, ever. you know, and uh, to me, if I'm working on a poll, then you can talk to me about makeup. Yeah. But if I'm working in a capacity where I have to talk to people and stuff, what does my face have to do with this? What does my makeup people have to do with People are, well, I think that after all the years of women where people are not used to seeing women, other people do, are not used to seeing women with makeup. Even Trump knows Without that. Makeup. Look at the makeup he wears. <laughs> yeah. That's People true. know you have to wear makeup on television. On television, but I don't think she was on yeah, television. Yeah, I just, I, I do wonder about it because, you know, if you're working for a law firm, and interviewing for a law firm position, does that mean that you have to have a fully made up face? I, I will tell you that in my experience, both as a lawyer and as someone on television, my hair has been, become an issue. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know how to blow my hair out. I don't know how to flat iron my hair out. And everybody realized that during the pandemic, right? Because we didn't have hair and makeup crews and I showed up like this. Um, what I will say is I've been told many times that curly hair is unprofessional and that I should make a change. And mm -hmm. I have also was told one day, I let one of the stylists blow out my hair for CNN. I got a call from an executive that same day and said, the person said, you found your look. Don't change it. Which was the straight hair. Which was the straight hair. That it's happened also to me when I was a receptionist over at Good Morning America. What happened? You know, I was a receptionist. I knew. One I of knew. the worst receptionists they've ever had. I've heard I that have as no well. doubt. But, but, but what happened? What happened? But I had like an Afro sort of hair. That's my hair. Here I look. You have look, curly Italian picture. hair. Yeah. yeah. See, and my hair was actually. That's what joy. That's that was that's a blowout. Joy. That's a blowout? That's that was a blowout. a blowout. No, you have, like, so winglets. Got, so yeah. the, the EP wanted me on TV, thought I was funny. And so, but they never put me on. And so another person over there said, if you had blown your hair out, because one day I came in with it straightened out, you yeah. know, with some Agent Orange I used. <laughs> yeah. And, um... <laughs> And, and he said, if you had worn your hair like that, they would have put you on television. It's, what is, well, but it's, it's crazy. It's also it's a really, lose lose. Like, discriminatory. Because in my experience, I remember when I was at the Department of Defense, I was so conservative because my peers were three and four star generals who were 30 years older. So I wore virtually no makeup. I pulled my hair back. I wore a suit every day. So you, on one hand, as a woman to be taken seriously, feel like yeah. you have to downplay your looks or your youth or whatever. And then in other circumstances, like I was in hair and makeup for like two hours today. Same. It, it, some is industry <laughs> dependent, but yeah. that was something where I felt like showing up in glam would have hurt me. Yeah. If we came out here without makeup, people would be scared. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> I got a haunted house. I believe so. We have the best glam squad in the country. <laughs> not Whoopi. Well, she Whoopi. Doesn't wear it. The rest of us, the trust rest me. of us, yeah. did not wake up people like this. People be like adjusting the screen. What's <laughs> well, people always say, "How come you don't wear makeup?" I said, "Because who has time?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have two hours to fool around. Yeah. Either it's either you like this or you don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have to be here. I'll be <laughs> home. But that's me.